Hello and welcome to our new video. Here we have Ronald Lamola's attempt to respond to Sona 2020. Lamola's dismal attempt is painful to watch. He deviates from his speech and instead focuses on blanketing the ANC from Floyd Shibambu's comments. Floyd's comments in his own speech are sharp, they crisp, guys. Let's take a look. This lack of decisive leadership in the benches of the South African Natives National Congress. And I'll give you a context of why we're dealing with that, because once they launched the union on the 31st of May 1910, the Natives Congress was a response to that whites-only unitary government. And if you check in terms of what the Natives Congress said in its first constitution, it was recognizing the British crown. So the foundation of the ANC was recognizing and worshipping the British crown. You must go and read for yourself, you realize that. It was also saying that we're going to be a mediation between black people and this white-only government. Maybe you are living up to your standards because what you are doing now, all these things that you speak, you are just being a mediator between the black people and the white capitalist establishment. That is what defines you. You are, you, are, you are being truthful to the roots of the South African National Natives Congress. That is who you are, a, a mediator of relations between so-called natives and the white capitalist establishment. It's a complete distortion that the ANC owes its allegiance is to the Crown. Honorable Shibambo is not being truthful. And there you have it, guys. Here we can see Shibambo's words of wisdom. He researched versus Lamola, who does not know the history of his own party. Shameful. Your comrades, Mr. President, do not read. The reality is that they don't read. They read uh, through Love magazine and drum. When it comes to political literature, when it comes to reading the rules, they do not read. That's why someone stood up here and said, House of Rules. It's not House of Rules. It's Rules of the... There you have it, guys. If you want to watch the full speech made by Floyd Chibambu, continue with the video. Honorable Shibambo. No, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, Commander-in-Chief, I thought that we were going to respond to some of the issues that have been raised here. But uh, truly speaking, there's no substance uh, to could really entertain. But let's just quickly dismiss some of the things that have been just said here. If you are gullible, you will believe that minister who just spoke here. He does that every time. Promises, investments, and list companies that are coming. But go and check where are we losing the most jobs in South Africa, in the manufacturing sector, in the industrial sector. But every time he comes here, since he was Minister of Economic Development, Trade and Industry, every time he makes industrial commitments, but there are no jobs that are coming. In, instead, the biggest bloodbath in terms of jobs is in the manufacturing and industrial sectors. So you, 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 it, it's, it just talks majority of the times without anything. Check the, 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 the trade deficit of South Africa. We continue to import more goods than we export. And you've got the most neoliberal trade policy that is presided over by him. Like virtually all products which could create jobs in South Africa are just coming in for free. Furniture products, plastic products, which we have got a, 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 an industrial capacity to domestically produce, but there is no clear industrial policy that is presented by him to achieve that. But he speaks like that every time. Go and listen to all his speeches. From under Zuma, he was doing exactly the same thing. So if you are gullible, believe that guy. He's going to cause you a serious trouble. Now, I'm, 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 I'm going to deal with the, the issues that relate to dismantling of apartheid. And one of the pillars that we should deal with is broadly the dismantling of the apartheid pacts. 
So you would know that between 1908 and 1909, there was a conversion on the closer union of South Africa. So where 33 men, white men gathered to conceptualize this thing we call South Africa today. Another conclusion of that, they, they decided to constitute a whites only unitary state and government, uniting the colonies of Transvaal, the Cape, the Orange River colony and, the, and Natal. And as part of that agreement, they say that because we are agreeing amongst ourselves, let us say that the administrative capital is going to be in Pretoria Transvaal. The legislative capital will be in Cape Town here where we are. And then the judicial uh, capital will be, the apex court will be in Bloemfontein representing the Orange River colony. And then Natal, they just said, no, we just want the completion of a railway project, which they were campaigning for that time. We are here today in Cape Town because of a colonial pact. We are here because colonialists say that let us share power amongst ourselves, and we are still here 25 years since democracy, so-called democracy maybe. Why are we in Cape Town? It's not accessible. It doesn't make sense for a democratic parliament to be on the furthest corner of South Africa. That is why we say, we say today, even in the Chief Risk Forum, we had engagement with the speaker that, why can't we start a process of relocating parliament to an area which is accessible? If we take parliament to Gauteng, the people from Limpombo, from Pumalanga, from Northwest, from KwaZulu-Natal, from, from, from the Northern Cape, will have an opportunity to drive in in the morning, make a submission and go back home at night. And the people, members of parliament, we will have an opportunity to, on Mondays, Tuesdays, do their constituency work and still come and oversee the state and oversee government and pass legislation. When we're looking for accountability from the government departments, we do not need to wait for people to come with flights, whether business class or not, which is not saving any cost now, by the way. You, you just call them to say that from that department, let's call so and so to come and account here. What is difficult with dismantling that basic and simplest of the apartheid colonial pacts? Why are we still trapped there? Because the speaker today was saying that no, it will take us 10 years to relocate parliament. I mean, 10 years. This lack of decisive leadership in the benches of the South African Natives National Congress. And I'll give you a context of why we're dealing with that, because once they had launched the union on the 31st of May, 1910, the Natives Congress was a response to that white only unitary government. And if you check in terms of what the Natives Congress said in its first constitution, it was recognizing the British crown. So the foundation of the ANC was recognizing and worshiping the British crown. You must go and read for yourself, you realize that. It was also saying that we're going to be a mediation between black people and this white only government. Maybe you're living up to your standards because what you are doing now, all these things that you speak, you're just being a mediator between the black people and the white capitalist establishment. That is what defines you. You are, you, are, you are being truthful to the roots of the South African National Natives Congress. That is who you are, a, a mediator of relations between so-called natives and the white capitalist establishment. That is one issue that we wanted to deal with. The second issue that we want to deal with is on energy. On energy. So now, anyone who tells you that you can have an energy plan that excludes coal in South Africa is misleading you or is daydreaming. So in your energy mix, don't lose the fact that your base load has to be coal. The CSIR has already invested some time and attention on clean coal energy and clean coal technologies. That must be looked into in terms of what we need to do. We should be pioneer as South Africa in terms of the clean coal technologies so that we continue to produce dependable energy 
which is going to at least create a platform for industrial expansion, for creation of jobs, for, for the expansion as well of the base through which you collect your revenue. Because currently your energy plan is disastrous. What you said here about what should happen to the energy space is disastrous. You can't sign in additional power purchase agreements. Anyone who is honest, the current CEO of ESCOM said it that don't impose further IPPs onto the ESCOM's balance sheet because they are not sustainable. But you are doing so because the companies that you either founded or used to work for are part of the independent power producers. Pembani is part of the independent power producers. Shanduga is part of those who are benefiting from these power purchase agreements. Irrational arrangements. The ANC company, what is it called, that company? Uh, the, investment, the investment arm of the ANC. <laughs> Chancellor House is part of the same nonsensical arrangement. Why do you look for immediate solutions at the expense of a, a, a durable and dependable energy supply in South Africa? That should come to an end. Now, the simplest thing that you cannot do, you can do, you have failed in everything else in terms of how you can at least boost economic activity in South Africa. But the simplest thing that you can do is to change your procurement laws. So your, your, your manifesto, and majority of you here are hearing that for the first time. The ANC manifesto says 80% of the goods and services that the state is going to procure must be locally made. So what needs to happen is that we need to change all the procurement laws, the PFMMA and the FMMMA, to say that the entire value chain of the goods and products and services that ultimately are going to be consumed by the state must be locally made. Currently, such is not the case. As, as basic things as food, the food that is given to hospitals, to prisons, to school feeding schemes, it's worth billions of friends. But if you check the original origin of where that food comes from, you'll find that it's from Brazil, the dumping that happens from the EU as well. Why can't we track that clearly in terms of making sure that everything else that the state consumes is domestically produced? And, and, and even your association with the World Trade Organization and those pacts will not regulate your movement in that regard, you can do it differently. Now, President, if anyone tells you that all is well, they are just singing for Sapa and misleading you. Our healthcare system is, is collapsing. A lot of our schools do not have basic toilets. The levels of, of poverty is deepening. Electricity supply is not dependable in South Africa. State-owned companies are not stable. And when we, we stand up here to speak about those who are responsible and them being held accountable, you then send your toy soldiers to come and raise the sensitive issue of gender-based violence in retaliation of us protesting against Ditlek and Praveen Godan. You, 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 your caucus, your whips, you, and you, you, you say, these envious toy soldiers of a failed youth league point of order. come here and, and, and try to disrupt of order. the commander in chief on the basis on the point of, order. of gender based Can violence, of all issues. Honorable Shivango. Must relax, must not be emotional. You take your seat. Must sit down. It's being emotional. Uh, sit down. Honorable, honorable sit down. Shivambo, honorable oh. member. Honorable okay. members, don't rule from the floor, please. Let me do that. Yes, honorable member. Thank you, honor, thank you, honorable deputy uh, speaker. We don't know which member is a toy, but my point of order is that you can say Pravin Godan is honorable member of this house, addressing proper. It's a point uh, of um, order. Yeah. Stop howling. Honorable Shivambo, that point of order is sustained. You know that's the practice. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Godan, uh, that is that is one. Mm. The contributions uh, comes. That is the level of contribution to correct people's names and references. It's small minds. Now, the, the, the we've got a 